Hi, my name's Alan Meharry. I play in a band called The Broadsides. Uh, the Broadsides began in around 2000 and, I'm not sure, uh, 2009 maybe. The, originally Etienne came over from Cape Town, he's the, he's the double bass player, and I saw an advert which I didn't understand at all. It, it, it was all about these bands which I didn't know, you know, who they were or what they were. They found it sounded kind of scary actually. But I saw uh, the word Elvis and Rockabilly and so I got in touch with him and we started off this band, just the two of us writing songs and it was kind of a bit of a clash because I was I came from more sort of a country country type slower um, songs um, writing and, and he was into sort of fast, more sort of punky stuff. Um, and so that was the first stage of the broadsides and then we got, um, once we had some songs together we got in other musicians, so I guess the, the broadsides was sort of manufactured, like a boy band, I guess. Um, <laughs> and so the next stage was recruiting um, Dave Ward and Dave Kahn, who play fiddle and fiddle and both play guitar and Dave Ward plays banjo, and then we found Ben, um, who played the drums. And, and, that, and then we started as a five piece, I think in 2009 or something like that. The broadsides, Originally, everyone came from different perspectives. I, um, for some reason, I got into gospel music. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Um, like, Joshua bought the Battle of Jericho, Jericho, you know, that sort of really, really old stuff. And, um, but, what I, you know, if it was me writing, I would have slowed it right down. Joshua bought, then put, you know, put in a, a, a um, minor key and then the rest of the band would say, well hang on, okay, let's take that song, let's move it into a major key and let's make it really, really fast. Josh Bob, bow, 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 bow. You know, and that's sort of the broadside sort of it's kind of a clash of all these things of rockabilly, I guess indie rock, um, country, country and western. What else? Hillbilly? Um, did I say gospel? And and sort of swamp blues maybe? And and that's it. That's what's great about the board sides, it's all this sort of big melting pot of things, but also it's tricky to get songs written in the board sides because you'll bring a song and, and um, you've got five quite strong personalities, or maybe every band's like this probably, where you get it's this kind of like wrestle to like kind of pull the song into action and sometimes it takes ages, sometimes it'll be six months where a song will be sort of thrown about and then it'll be cast out for a while and then it'll Usually me, you know, will be pulling it back in. So I tend to have the, I tend to write the main parts of the songs, I guess, and, and then the board sides gets hold of them and, and, and picks them apart and then puts them back together and there's something quite different. The board sides do tend to have quite a lot of religious imagery going on in the music. Um, if you look around this house, there's actually quite a lot of religious stuff around there, which my partner has taken down quite a lot. There's a lot of pictures of Jesus. Um, my favourite one being one of his, of his beard that someone had sort of carefully sort of brushed like this and he was looking at sort of beard thing. Uh, I don't know quite where it came from. I just have a, a fascinated fascination with God and with Jesus and he kind of, well, it tends to sort of creep into the lyrics very, very often uh, and we do Often when we play, especially in the early days when people didn't sort of know who we were, we'd have people sort of standing in the corner of the room, sort of looking at each other, and, and then, and then, and then, as you tell, we'll say, they'd, they'd, but you'd look, you'd look, and you'd see their foot tapping, and then they'd sort of slowly come out from the shadows and decide that, well, okay, maybe we can dance to this. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'd, it's sort of, it's sort of fitting with with it being country music. The, the two do work together, but it's certainly not something that I write about God because it's country music. It really tends to work the other way around. So these are the two broadsides EPs so far. This is the first one. Um, this is Bring Me Love, our second one which we recorded at Roundhead. A lot of the broadside stuff is quite, I was going to say heavily branded, that sounds horrible. Heavily, it's got great artwork. <laughs> Uh, which Etian, our, our, our bass player, does. Uh, he's a, he works on movie sets and he creates these really amazing pictures and, and posters. So a lot of the broadsides, uh, um, gigs, and, and the Gunslingers Ball have got quite strong posters. Um, 
and I think when you see them, it's great because you kind of you know you know who's created them. You know that it's a broadside um, associated gig, if you like. Uh, and there are plans to uh, foot to record another EP later in the year, maybe an album. Who knows? But it's, really, it's a bit loose at the moment. Uh, the broadsides and Burning the Griffin put on a show called the Gunslings Ball. Originally, we did it because. Um, we weren't getting very many gigs, <laughs> and being a country band, you know, it's a bit hard to sort of place the broadsides exactly where we've got a foot in either camp, I guess. Um, so we put this gig on to with all the Americana and blues and Harada Kelly and and all those sort of guys um, to put a gig on, and it's sort of grown from there. And um, just recently, we've been putting on um, gigs and bringing in bands from outside of Auckland, so we've had the Easton and Loretta Suede and we've got one coming up in a few weeks, it was two weeks, with The Unfaithful Ways, they're coming up from Christchurch and we've got Dee Burmester, which is kind of my favourite band at the moment, Dee Burmester and the Blind. Um, so yeah, I've asked them to come up and play as well and it's, it's really sort of taken off, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why. I, I guess it's nice going to a gig where you kind of know that's going to sort of feature this kind of music. Hey, well, it's a ho down. And it's a, yeah, yeah, and it's a real knees <laughs> up. Yeah, and we try and choose sort of quite fast bands that are, it's going to be a fun gig. Yeah. So the next plan, uh, vaguely, I'm not sure all the broadsides actually know about this yet, but watch this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always something to learn. Uh, is to record the next EP in the open air in a forest on a hill. I don't know somewhere, uh, somewhere romantic and for us to record it in the open air and to have and for it to be videoed as well and then we'll release it in a cd and a i don't know it'll be dvd but something you can watch and listen to all at the same time and it'll be basically sort of a live little concert performed outside maybe just a very acoustic banjo and fiddle and drums and double bass that sort of thing yes yeah, so i'm Ellen Harry from the broadsides thanks so much for watching Come along to the Gunslinger's Ball sometime or a broadside's gig and um, thanks again. <laughs>